welcome. Thank, thank you. It's good to be back with you. You made the point. Uh, sometimes the equity market needs to be hit over the head a few times, but they finally hurt them. I, I, th I think so, but I will, I will give uh, uh, Chairman Powell some credit. He was uh, short to the point, which is what was needed, and he has made it clear, at least in his in Friday's remarks, that uh, inflation was the priority. And even though people say inflation has been a downtick and so forth, um, who knows whether that's uh, going to be persistent or not. That's going to take time. And in the meantime, you don't want the market uh, getting ahead of itself, thinking that the Fed's going to back off its its uh, inflation-fighting stance. And and I, I point out and the second thing that, that's been brought up during the, uh, the conference where uh, Chairman Powell spoke was the fact that we're also they're also involved in quantitative tightening. And so there's liquidity issues that I think they are very much aware of, and have, that has to be balanced as well, and I, perhaps the market's picking up on that as well. Right. I wonder, do you think the, uh, the efficacy of the speech came from, uh, it was pretty, as you say, it was brief and to the point, not a lot of nuance, or was it about the fact that it was at Jackson Hole, or was it about the fact that there was pretty, I mean, I would argue, uh, unanimity in commentary from all of the officials last week? I think it's a combination. I think there is unanimity. I think that's important. But I, but more importantly, I think it was the chairman himself who was trying to displace any thought that he was being ambivalent about fighting inflation. And so that's why he wanted it short and to the point. And uh, I think he succeeded in that. How do you think, and just hypothetically, how does the Fed now approach, say, a very soft print, uh, either in macro activity or even even in some pricing data? How, how would how would they handle a uh, material decline now in prices? Would they still be suspicious? I think they would still be suspicious. I don't know that they would. You know, it might affect how much they raise the rate, uh, but I don't think it would cause them to pause. Uh, I think they would still feel. A lot of pressure to raise. Uh, they've, you know, we've had these false dawns before in terms of inflation. So why, why let yourself get fooled? So I think the most it would do is perhaps modify how far they uh, increase in the next two moves. But I don't think it will stop that because inflation is pretty embedded in the economy. And I think there's, uh, I would, I, I would be very pleased if inflation was coming down rapidly. I would also be very surprised. Uh, Thomas, I'm curious as to whether you want to offer any predictions then on what you think the terminal rate will be and how long will actually stay there. Well, who knows for sure. I, my, my estimate is uh, that, that they're going to they're gonna get the 4%. I would think they would try and get by the end of the year, although that would take some, some continued uh, 75 basis point increases. But uh, I think 4% is where they would want to be, and then they could hold for a while. Uh, and see if the inflation numbers continue or if they stop rising or continue to come down. And the, and the faster they come down, then the, the sooner they could move away from that. But they won't, once they get to 4%, I don't think they'll back off very quickly.